new candy to try. I was reading the ingredients and I didn't see any milk products in here. It's really good. There's a lot of flavor in the candy. For lunch, I got the fisherman's stew with roasted potatoes and bread, and then I have my probiotic drink, the Olipop. I don't know if I'll finish it in one sitting, but I don't have a lid for it either. I went to four stores and I only found one Gulliver chocolate. Or got me a cake. I was so surprised. I took the plastic off and it's a uh, strawberries and cream flavor. Um, there was another decoration and I tasted the cake. It's so good. I've never had a cake just for myself and I've never had a fancy cake. You could definitely taste the quality. Thank you so much. I finally got the electric spinning wheel that I've been looking at for months off of this Ukrainian Etsy seller shop. This is the electric spinning wheel BEP2 vintage from the USSR era or before the dissolution of the USSR. There were a couple of spinning wheels on this shop, in the shop, so I did narrow it down to this one for specific reasons. I'll read the description. So, the BEP2 electric spinning wheel is for sale in very good, fully functional condi condition. It works in both spinning and thread twisting modes, which is what you need for when you're spinning the fiber one way, and then if you're applying it with other fiber that you've spun up, then it spins the other way. Very convenient adjustment of rotation speed using a pedal. And the pedal um, to control the speed is something that is good too. This kit includes two spools of yarn, a control pedal, plastic protective case, and operating manual. Spool capacity is 500 grams of yarn, enough for half a scarf. So for these spools or bobbins, I will have some made um, using a 3D printer, so it'll be a custom order, just so I can do different types of applied yarn. But 500 grams is more industrious. Um, for a spinning wheel, I would say, because I love the spinning wheel that I have. It doesn't, it definitely does not spin that much or hold that much. Ideal for both beginner and experienced needlewomen, consumes little energy, no more than 
25 is that watts and at the same time has high performance so i do have an adapter for when i will use it here the couple times that i will use it in the u.s will be for me to make sure that it runs smoothly Thanks to the convenient thread feeding design, large diameter thread entry hole and large capacity spool, this spinning wheel is suitable for winding textured thick yarn. That's another thing, um, or the orifice that is um, on some, sp the orifice on some spinning wheels tend to be on the smaller side. So it feeds, it doesn't feed as thick or textured fiber. And so it does limit you to the types of yarn that you can create. So that is also something that is exciting. And then the attention for the voltage. So, and, and it has a hand winder as a gift for anyone who bought this electric spinning wheel. So I would like a winder because it, um, I do have a cake winder that that's a little makeshift because it's the Knitter's Pride one and it's a little stubby so I attached a cone to it it's just taped so I could cake up larger quantities of yarn and it hasn't failed me but it is going to be exciting to get a new one i also wanted to add that for the price uh, for a functioning electric spinning wheel that can hold up to 500 grams of yarn is it's a, a price that's definitely more affordable than other prices that I've seen. And then this is the cake winder that it comes with. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.